In this video, we're continuing on with the volume of Pyramids and Cones worksheet on the CUDA software website under the Geometry section, picking up where we left off with number 7. Now remember, our volume formula for Pyramids and Cones is volume equals one-third of the area of the base times the height. So let's look at number 7. And number 7, our base is a right triangle. And the area of the right triangle is equal to one-half, one leg of the triangle, times the other leg. So one half of six feet times eight feet is the area of the base in number seven. One half times six times eight is 24, and this is feet squared since we're dealing with area. Now the height is represented by this red dashed line of 12 feet, and that's the height of the entire pyramid. So for volume, now that we know area and height, we're going to plug in each of those and solve. So one third of the area of the base is one third of 24 feet squared, and then we're multiplying that to the height of 12 feet. One third times 24 times 12 equals 96, and this is feet cubed. Feet squared times feet is feet cubed. 96 feet cubed for the volume in number seven. In number eight, we have a cone. So volume is equal to one third of the area of the base. I'll just write A times the height of the cone or pyramid h. So the height in this case is represented by the vertical dashed line, which is 18 miles. And the area of a circle is pi times r squared. However, we're not given the radius, we're given the diameter. But the radius is equal to half of the diameter, or the diameter divided by two. So if we take one half and multiply that by 18 miles, we'll get a radius of nine. So pi times nine squared is equal to 81 pi. So plugging area and height in for volume, we'll have one third of the area, which is 81 times pi, times h of 18 miles. Entering that into our calculator, we'll get 1,526.81, which rounds to 1,526.8, and if the lengths are in miles, for labeling our diagram, for volume, we're going to have miles cubed. 1,526.8 miles cubed. And number nine, the base has one, two, three, four, five separate sides. So the number of sides in is five, which makes this a pentagonal prism. The side length, since this is regular, is congruent throughout the base. So each side is equal to nine yards. And we have the apothem of 6.2 yards. So the area of the pentagon, the area of the base, is going to be one half of the apothem, which is 6.2 yards, times the perimeter of the regular polygon, which is n times s, or five times nine yards. When we enter that into our calculator, one half times 6.2 times five times nine is equal to 139 0.5, and this is yards squared. Now remember for volume, we need not just the area of the base, but we also need the height of the pyramid itself, which is represented by the vertical dash line and is seven yards. So volume equals one third of the area, 139.5 yards squared, times the height of seven yards. One third times 139.5 times seven equals 325.5, and since this is volume, the unit is yards cubed. 325.5 yards cubed in number nine. In number 10, you can see that we have a rectangular pyramid. Volume's going to equal one third of the area of the base times the height. The height we can see is nine miles, and the area of the base is simply length times width. So volume is going to equal one third of the length times the width. And we're multiplying that by the height of the prism. So one third of six miles times seven miles times a height of nine miles. Entering that into our calculator, we'll get 126, and this is miles cubed. Miles times miles times miles is miles cubed, 126 miles cubed.
Now for the last four problems on this worksheet, we're no longer given a diagram, we're just given the lengths in words. So here we have a square pyramid measuring 10 yards along each edge. So let's write out our volume formula quickly. Volume is equal to one third of the area of the base times the height of the pyramid or cone. Now for a square, area is going to be equal to length times width, and the square pyramid has a height of six yards. So we're going to have one third of the length of one side, which is 10, and the other edge is also 10. So both L and W, length and width, are 10. So that'll be 10 times 10, and we're going to multiply that to a height of six. So one third times 10 times 10 times six equals 200. And since the measurements are in yards, we're going to have yards cubed for the volume. And number 12, volume, again, one third the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. A pyramid is five meters tall. So right away, H is five meters. And there's a right triangle for the base with side lengths six, eight, and 10 meters. We know that the hypotenuse is the greatest side length and 10 is greater than six and eight. So we're not going to be using 10 to solve for the area. Since it's a right triangle, the area is one half of the legs of the triangle. So volume is going to be equal to one third times one half the legs, which are six meters times eight meters, and that will get multiplied to the height of the pyramid of five meters. So entering this into our calculator, one third times one half times six times eight times five will give us 40 meters cubed. 40 meters cubed is the volume of our triangular pyramid in number 12. In number 13, we have a cone with a radius of four meters and a height of 12 meters. Volume is equal to one third of the area of the base, which if we're looking for the area of a circle, that's going to be pi r squared. And then we have to multiply the area of the base by the height of the pyramid or cone h. Our radius is given to us as four, so r equals four meters, and our height h is 12 meters. So plugging in four and 12 in for r and h respectively, we'll have one third times pi times four meters squared times h of 12 meters. Simplifying this, one third times 12 is equal to four. So we'll have four times pi times four squared, which is 16. 16 times four is equal to 64. So 64 times pi is the volume of this cone, and 64 times pi is 201.06, which rounds to 201.1, and this will be meters cubed. And lastly, on this worksheet, number 14. However, before I go over the answer to this, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All likes and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. Now in number 14, it says that we have a hexagonal pyramid that's 11 feet tall. So the height of the pyramid is 11 feet. If we have a hexagonal pyramid, that means the base is a hexagon. So the number of sides in is equal to six. And since the base is regular and six feet is one side, that means that every side of that base is six feet. So our side length S is going to equal six feet. And it tells us that the apothem is 5.2 feet. So our volume is going to equal one third of the area of the base, which since this is a regular polygon, that's going to be one half of the apothem times the perimeter, which is n times s. And that will get multiplied to the height. Volume is one third of the area of the base times the height of the pyramid. So now let's enter in everything we know. We'll have one third times one half of 5.2 feet times the number of sides six times the side length of six feet. And that will get multiplied to the height of 11 feet. One third times one half is one sixth. And when you multiply that to 5.2 and then multiply that to 36, which is six times six, 
we'll get 31.2, but we still need to multiply to the height, which is 11 feet. So that will be 343.2 feet cubed for the volume and number 14. If you have any questions or just want to write me a note, leave it in the comments below. Also, if you didn't do so before number 14, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel.